So Buddy Hill, it's, uh, it's, been, it's being reported that the Pacers are looking to shop him. I think it was because they weren't able to, you know, come into agreements with a, a new contract. So they said, fuck it, we're going to ship him out of here. Um, let me know y'all thoughts on that because I wasn't expecting – them to you know make a move like this, especially because Buddy Hill been in trade rumors for like the longest, and they didn't pull a <laughs> they didn't pull a trigger in. But it's just now they want to do it before right before the season start. But hey, basketball is weird. But yeah, yeah basketball is very weird. Here? What y'all? Hey, here? bro, we 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 we're on the small fours now. But if y'all y'all watching, y'all know we was on the point guards, and when we were on the point guards. We had a lengthy conversation about Tyrese Halliburton versus Trey Young. Hey, man. I'm going to put it like this, and I don't think people are really realizing this, but you take Buddy Hill out of that lineup, that's a very easy, I'd say four or five assists from Tyrese Halliburton taken away, straight like that. That's a catch and shooter that is one of the most elite shooters in the league. But even past that, if you look at the rest of their lineup, a lot of those guys can create for themselves. So with that being said, Tyrese can get them the ball, but say they don't have a shot in that moment. They might create for themselves. Now that brings down Tyrese's numbers. Now it looks like Tyrese is more of the guy that me and Mo have said that he is. And I, I that's more of what I expect to happen with this trade coming to fruition. But more specifically with Buddy and the Pacers, obviously this takes away one of the best shooters in the league. In the league. But I think this team's okay. I've always talked about it. They have Benedict Matherin. They have Nimhard. They, they, they have Neesmith. They, ha they have some guys at the two position that can not only shoot the ball, but can create for themselves and for others. So I'm not too worried there. I kind of expected Buddy to be traded at some point strictly because he doesn't fit this team's timeline anymore. But the real question is, where does he go? And two of the teams that I would like to see him go to is – well, first, the first team I'll say is the Rockets, and I, I just would like to see him with the Rockets because I think that'll help them in terms of spacing. They need more shooting. Dylan Brooks, is he's been shaky. He looks like he's getting back to his shooting touch a little bit, but you can't, you can't bank on that. So Buddy Hill going there would be dope. But the real team that I want to see him go to, and this could really – really help this team, especially if they can make a move to go get Dame, which I think they are able to do. The Toronto Raptors, they can go make a move for Buddy Hill, get some shooting on their team, and then that plethora of 3 and D wings that you got, go ahead and tap into that with some picks, throw in Grady Dick because now you just brought in Buddy Hill, so you don't need that shooting that he possibly would have provided because you now have a veteran. Throw in Grady Dick, a couple other picks, some assets, and go get Damian Lillard. Now, all of a sudden, you have a crazy team and a three-headed monster with Dane, Siakam, and Buddy just for the foundation. And that backcourt, crazy shooting-wise. But my bad. That, I, I kind of went off a, there. No, but no, you, Gucci, that was, a, that was a kind of a left-field pick. You, you said the you Raptors. I ain't, that's not one that I've really put too much uh, thought into. I know it's been the more rumors about Dame and stuff, and we're gonna get into that later. But was the was the Raptors one of them? Uh, I heard. I, it, I heard it was. I was gonna say I don't know that there were rumors for the Raptors, but y'all know. Shameless plug, real quick. I did make a Raptors video, so I have done research on them recently. <laughs> you see it, Trill Buckets on YouTube, the infamous, but not nah. on YouTube. I have done research on them, and one of their biggest – no, not one of – the biggest issue for them, they were 25th in half-court offense, and that started with them shooting from deep. They couldn't shoot for anything, nothing. Like, yeah. they couldn't shoot to save them a lot. It was disgusting. And their best shooter in Fred Van Vliet, he couldn't even shoot last year. Like, it was, it was just nasty. So, in my mind, and this is without knowing who the teams were that were involved, Buddy Hill, that that's the team you go to, especially because they have they have talent and the wings to be able to come off of that and bring some guys in. Because what team in the league isn't looking for a three and D guy? Yep, 
Absolutely. Um, when it comes to Buddy Hill, I'm not gonna lie, Trill, you absolutely hit it on the head when it comes to how it's gonna affect the Pacers offense and especially Tyrese Halliburton. Like you said, a lot of those guys can create for themselves. And having Buddy Hill, all the continuity that him and Tyrese Halliburton has built over the last year, just gone your your go-to uh three-point threat, your perimeter threat gone just like that. That's gonna be tough. I'm not gonna lie, but um, when it comes to Buddy Hill, I think his fit would absolutely be dynamic for two teams, along with the Raptors. Another rumor that was going around is that the 76ers are also trying to get their hands on him. And if they do get Buddy Hill, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind if I'm Daryl Morey. I wouldn't mind selling James Harden for about like what 50 cents uh, on a dollar. If I'm if I'm bringing in say like uh, um who was the player on the Clippers? Uh, oh, ta- uh, Terrence Mann. Terrence, Terrence Mann. Mann? I wouldn't mind that at this point. If that I also would have be Buddy tough. Hill. If I also have Buddy that's, Hill. That's an interesting fit. I like that. I like that. But, Terrence Mann is a good player. Absolutely. Yeah, if genuinely, could, yes. If you could somehow shuffle your roster and bring those two players in, I think Embiid would still be content being on the Sixers team, and this Sixers team can still be competitive in the East. Um, Another team I would like Buddy Hill on is the Bucks. I'm not going to lie. The Bucks need some more young 3 and D players, some more perimeter threats from outside playing off of a Giannis and a Chris Middleton. And I'm not going to lie, Grayson Allen, you're just not getting the job done every night, buddy. Uh, I mean, you're, you're nice uh, on, he like, sucks. maybe, like, one Bro week. stinks. He, stu- he stinks. And he dirty. He injured Caruso with his big chance. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm a, I'm a Tar Heel fan, so fuck him for life. He's a dookie, so <laughs> definitely fuck him. Yeah, I ain't going to lie, Grayson Allen. Your time in Milwaukee maybe up, my dog.